Hey guys, welcome to episode 6 of Horror Talk, and today we're covering Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. Before we get into it, as always, this look was filmed over on my TikTok, all my socials are linked down below, as well as if you just want to know what I'm wearing to create this look, it'll also be in the description. So, this movie came out this year. If you did not know about it, it's because it was a Netflix exclusive. Um, IMDb only has a 4.8 out of 10 rating, which I feel is honestly really low for this movie. It's only got a tiny little storyline. Its blurb says, after nearly 50 years of hiding, Leatherface returns to terrorize a group of idealistic young friends who accidentally disrupt his carefully shielded world in a remote Texas town. So, if you're not into gore, you're not, don't watch this movie. I do not have a formal kill count, which I am so sorry about that. Going through my notes here, it is, I'm just going to look again while I'm speaking to you guys, but it, going through my notes, this is the only one that I don't have a proper kill count for, which if I don't, I apologize, but this is the most gory movie that they've done. So as I said, if gore is not your thing, which not every horror fan is into gory movies, this is not going to be for you. I love it. I'm a fan of gore. I think it's pretty great. Given the, you know, time and place. Yeah, no. I do not have a kill count for this movie. I do so greatly apologize. But a lot of people die. <laughs> Like, a lot, a lot. There's the one survivor, as per usual. We have a couple... We have more trivia for this movie than, you know, the, the last couple that I've had. So we have John Larroquette narrates the opening of this film as well as he did the original in the 1974 and then the 2003 remake. So I found that really interesting that he also came back to do the narration for this movie because he is the OG narrator and he does a fantastic job of it. Sally's barn and house scene during her introductory scene where she receives the phone call about Leatherface returning are sets for the production of Rambo Last Blood. I've never seen any of the Rambo movies, but if you're a fan of those, like, I wonder, did you notice that? Because I find that very interesting that, they, that it makes sense that they would reuse scenes for movies, but it's just, that's an interesting little tidbit. The sound effect of the barbecue lid being opened is a musical cue from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Always love it. Anything we can pull from the original movie, I'm happy about it. The road sign that shows the town of Harlow is having a population of 1,974, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre release. That's why they picked that number, which I think is cute. And you know, it is, that is a smaller amount of people because it's supposed to be like this abandoned town. And I just found that that was very interesting. I personally give this film a four out of five stars. I loved it. I liked that it, you know, he is older because it is taking place 50 years later. And you can tell that he's older in the way, in his mannerisms. Um, we get to see Sally again, and she's, you know, also from the original. She is the survivor turned into, I believe, a Texas Ranger. I think that is really, really neat. I loved this remake. I'm really sad that it was, you know, it went, it was for Netflix. Like, I would have loved to have seen this in theaters because it was really good. The kills, spot on. The acting, fantastic. I want to give it a 5 out of 5. The the Honestly, it's getting a 4 out of 5 for it being as strictly to Netflix. because, And I get it with COVID and things like that. People aren't going to the theaters as much. But I don't like the straight-to-DVD releases and the straight-to-Netflix. Like, I still want to go to the movies. Still want to go see these kinds of things. Like, this would have been a really good one to go. Especially considering the last couple remakes were not that great. Like, this one really was a redemption story for the for the series, if you ask me. 
Um, and the way that this one ended, I really think that they could very easily make another one, and I hope that they do. Because this was good. I like this direction that we're going in. Um, yeah, this was a shorter movie, so we have a shorter video here. But again, I give it four out of five stars. If you're into gore, definitely recommend you giving it a shot. Um, the next video that we cover will just be some general facts about this franchise as a whole. Me ranking all six movies in order from best to worst or worst to best. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it. So if you have not caught up on all the other movies, you know, the one on Thursday's video... That's gonna be it's gonna be where it's at, and I'm very excited for it. Um, take some guesses in the comments on what movie series we're going to be covering next, because I do already have the next one picked out. But if you would like to leave any comments down below on, you know, what movies you want me to watch, any comments on how you'd like me to do this going forward, please leave them down below. As always, if you would, you know, if you like this kind of content, the makeup and the horror, please subscribe. I'd love to see you here. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.